Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to The Gaming 4. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial about how to download and install Hamachi, and kind of some of the things that it does and why it's useful to us. So, to start off, guys, what you want to do is you want to go to your web browser. I use Google Chrome, personally. And you're just going to want to search log me in space Hamachi. Now I will have a link in the description if you're lazy like me. So just click on that link and it will bring you straight here. Now if you're searching it up right now as we speak, it should be the first link. So you want to click on that. So once you get to this uh, home page right here, you're going to want to try it free. Now you can buy it and you know it does uh, a lot of stuff let's see there's networking you can remotely access your computer there's all that stuff you can't do that if you're gonna do it for free but I mean if you wanna buy it you know you can you can buy it so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create a log me in ID and it's pretty simple I mean it's gonna have like a confirmation email stuff like that but I mean it's just like the basics so I'm actually gonna create a new account I already have one but just for uh, simplification's sake and so you guys know how to do it, I will just create one. So I'm going to use the gaming for official at gmail dang it, dot com. Okay, and then you're going to want to have a password. You know, it can be whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you guys mine because you don't need to know that. Um, so yeah, create a password. And you're gonna want that relatively strong, though I doubt anybody's gonna try to like hack you or anything. And you know, just create an account. So once you create an account, it should uh, bring you here. Um, I'm gonna have it save the password just for now. And you should be able to skip all this stuff. And I I would skip it. It's not necessary. So once you get to this spot, um, I would just quickly um, confirm your account by going to your email and clicking on the link that they give you. Okay guys, so what you're going to want to do next after you've activated your account is actually go way back to the web search. So you do need to create an account to do this. So that's just the first step. So now what you're going to want to do is click this second link. Okay and this will bring you to this page and now it'll look similar but it's really hard to get to from your initial page so I mean it's this site is designed terribly and I mean occasionally you have to re um, install Hamachi because sometimes the files get corrupted and you just need to reinstall it and it's not a big deal and it's really not that bad but this page this website makes it terrible so what you're going to do is press the download now button. It'll install uh it'll download hamachi.msi. And yeah, it's an MSI file. I've got no idea why, but that that's just what it comes in. So the installer should be pretty quick. Um you want to do English or whatever language you want. Next, next. Um I already have it installed. So I'm at this point I'm just going to cancel off you guys just continue through the installation process and I'll pick you up at the end. So once it sh once it's installed you should uh, it should look like an icon like this. Um I just uh, set mine to the taskbar. And so once it's open you what you want to do is press the power button to log you on and essentially what Hamachi does is it creates a virtual private network and what this allows you to do is to host um, servers using your Hamachi IP and so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to create a new network by going to network and then pressing create a new network and you're gonna need to create a network ID and that'll pretty much just be the name of it like epic person one or man they sucks butt or poop 212 something like that you don't really I think you might need to have a password now no so you don't need to have a password 
so that's good if you want it more secure I would definitely add a password but it's not like people are going to be trying to get on to your Hamachi network or something it's not super sketchy or anything and so once you've got this network pretty much you and your, your friends um, your friends will want to join it and so they'll need to go to join existing network at that point the network ID which should be the name that you created they'll need to leave that uh, enter that in so just pretend I was joining this epic person one one and then I forget if there's a password it's probably like one two three four or something and so the epic person one one doesn't exist because I spelled it wrong and it wouldn't have worked anyway because I'm already joined to it so yeah pretty much once you're uh, connected you can do all sorts of fun stuff and yeah that's, that's pretty much what you can do and yeah you can have unlimited amount of these and even though it only limits to to five per network you have I could create like if I wanted to have like 60 people I mean my internet's not good enough but if I wanted to have 60 people on my server what I could do is I could create uh, 30 of these and there could be five people per server thing and I could therefore have 60 people so it doesn't matter whether you're all in one or not as long as you're connected as long as you see this green uh, direct tunnel thing now if you see a blue direct tunnel that means there's a uh, iffy connection it might work for you it'll this dot will pretty much be blue and it'll say relayed tunnel um, usually it won't work so I would suggest uh, restarting either your own log me and Hamachi like restarting your computer restarting log me and Hamachi or or whatever and it might fix it so that's just from our past experience so to turn it off you just press the power power down button and that's pretty much all you need to know I mean there's some other preferences and stuff like that but you really don't need to know anything else to just use it so yeah I hope you guys uh, use Hamachi it's actually a great tool to create servers with I've created unturned servers minecraft servers I think you can pretty much create any type of server that you want you might even be able to create a web server that would just be weird though and probably inefficient to join but yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something hope you were able to use Hamachi and it works well for you and thank you guys and I'll see y'all later.